guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to another episode of the End of Life Flash game series. So, today we're going to be playing a sort of mini version of the Henry Stickman collection. And by that I mean we're going to be playing all the different various Flash game versions of the Henry Stickman collection that, well, didn't make it into the actual Henry Stickman collection. Now, I should explain this. Obviously, this is breaking the bank, so it kind of did. But I feel like playing the first original Henry Stickman through Flash to just honor its history that it gave to the actual Flash game community itself. And because of that, it's just too important. So, let's hop right into it. Let's try tunneling under here. God. Wow, I, I have forgotten how... What? Half of these looked and played back then. Oh, they still look so good. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't look so good for him. Let's try... Explosion. <laughs> what could go wrong? Hmm? Eh? Hmm. Oh, God. Haven't you learned from Wile E. Coyote? Did it work? Guess not. Hmm, laser drill. I was gonna say, why would you not point that straight ahead? Hey, that's pretty good. Uh -huh. Or not. Well, I guess Miley Cyrus might have taught us one thing. All right, now swing back. And release. Well, for all the people who've ever played a Henry Stickman game, ooh, it never goes very well with the teleporter. I wonder how the first one did. Huh? Uh, uh. Not so good. Disguise? Perfect. We lose one. I think we should throw it in the bank just to be safe. <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Not sweet. Ah, well, honestly, I'm kind of ashamed that it's so short. I really did forget just how short this game was, huh? Hmm. But yeah, this was the original Henry Stickman game. And I mean, from so long ago, from being Little Stickman, though, I mean, I guess it's still Little Stickman, as Flash games on the internet. It has spawned into some of the greatest games that have ever been. Honestly, in my opinion, I think this is something that resembles some of the original indie j indie game creators that exist out there. And while it might not be on everyone's indie game list, it is certainly on mine. Now, we're going to go into the pseudo-original Henry Sippin game, which was Crossing the Pit. Now, Crossing the Pit does have a very similar look to the rest of the Henry Stickman collection, but it does have one difference, and it's from Puffball. While they were the original creators of Henry Stickman, this is actually the very first game that they ever released. Now, some of the people who have played Henry Stickman collection might remember some of these from one of the sections in the new Henry Stickman collection game. And all of these, uh, all these options, I guess, are the same in that collection as this because they, after remastering it, of course, with a bit better graphics than there were back in, I think this was like 2007, I think I gotta say this is, looks a little bit more polished in the new version, but despite that, I think we still have to play the original. So, let's hop right into it. 
<laughs> it still definitely holds up. Oh man, I forgot about leap. Let's do a pole vault. What? Oh Jesus. And then catapult? No! You know, honestly, the animations still hold up pretty well. We're <laughs> the ramp. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. Rocket? Hmm, yeah, this went so well. How about the bridge? Well, I'll yeah. shoot. Cannon? Hmm, ooh, bit too much gunpowder in that one. And you were a little bit too many pounds for the bridge, it seems. Teleporter. Yeah. Ooh, just a few meters off. All right. Now, to surviving the snowstorm. So, this is supposed to be a fan-made creation for the Henry Stickman collection somewhat. Not, again, not the actual Steam collection, but for the online uh, Henry Stickman games, essentially. While this is an official game, this is a pretty good one, and I figured I'd at least put it in there to showcase some of the things since I'm not doing the full collection for the end-of-life Flash game series at the very least. Ooh, a present. What's in the box? Hmm. Ah, so it seems we're before completing the mission, but after everything else. I think we're after escaping the prison. Or no, we're after escaping the prison, we're after fleeing the complex, and we have to also be after the airship one. I forgot what the name of that one was. Um... Throw the cheese! No. The. What? Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? Okay. Radio? Duh. That snowstorm is intense. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Top hats! Come on! Oh! No, you can't just forget about Reginald and Charles. <laughs> Phone go burr. Seriously? Government? Oh. No, you can't just... F okay. All right. Well, I guess neither of them. The jacket? Oh. Jumper so warm, nothing could make you cold. Well, let's load a save. Ew. <laughs> I don't think, uh... I don't think that would help too much. Well, great. God dang it. <laughs> it just took us back. I don't know what I should have expected. Okay, hmm. well, teleporter. Because I guess that always went so well. Oh, shoot. You just decided. Screw it. Huh? Hey, we're warm. Hey, well, I, I think it's a bit too warm. Bomb? Wait. How did that help? Oh, we left a marker right. Music box. Come on, please give me a pair of mittens in there. Mittens. Mm -hmm. And ah. oh shoot. Okay. Apparently, puppet from FNAF was in there. Hmm. Oh God. Where are we going? Inception. Oh, God. We're on the side of the road from breaking the bank. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, uh, should have hit in the sack. Oh. Hey, box transcender. We actually made it out. Nice. Another box? Hmm. Oh. Well, Preston must really hate you. Binoculars. Ooh. Nice cozy house. That's a lot better. Open observer. Oh, not bad. Nice. Well, unfortunately, that is all for the game so far. Uh, unfortunately, it's short, but it's about the same length as, you know, the original Breaking the Bank and Crossing the Pit. So, for that, I think we're going to end this episode here. And if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. And I hope to see you next time.
with more end-of-life flash game series. Peace.